Good evening everyone and uh, thank you for listening to this video. Tonight I want to show you what I did to build a homebrew repeater for the star. Sorry for my English, my first language being French and I hope I won't be able I won't be too hard on your ears. So my name is Pierre, I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. My call sign is Victor Echo2 Papa Fox V2PF. And the repeater call sign is Victor Eco2 Papa Uniform Kilo V2PUK. That's all. That's my whole uh, call sign, and I registered it into the RCDDB uh, database as a repeater call sign. This will go soon, as soon as I have all my uh, new stuff, frequency coordination, and new repeater numbers and call sign. So um, let me show you what I did, and uh, hope you'll enjoy the video. Okay, so here's a setup for my uh, homebrew repeater. Don't look at the mess. Uh, this uh, this setup is temporary. It was a proof of concept. Uh, I'll build something much more stronger than that to to come with uh, to to finish the system. So let's start with the computer. As you can see, a very small computer in there. That's a HP T5630 Tin client. This little computer would come with a uh, one gig of RAM, one gig of CPU, and one gig of flash drive. That's a 44-pin uh, EDE connector. Just plug it into the uh, board, and it's acting like uh, an hard disk, but it's in flash. Uh, one gig being way too small, I had to install temporarily uh, one, a 20 gig IDE I drive. This will go as soon as I receive my 5 gig uh, ADE, IDE um, uh, flash uh, hard drive um, coming in from the from the web bought, bought on uh, eBay. Hopefully, it will come soon. So, as you can see, I have a little screen there, and oops, uh, it just uh, went away. So uh, here's the um, the the CentOS uh, release five. 0.7 final uh, kernel uh, on a 686. So that's the machine. Here's a little keyboard, keyboard USB, and uh, the ID drive. There's a two USB uh, connector there, and you can see in the back the network cable and USB cable for uh, the DVR-PTR uh, device that I'm using to uh, to do the connection for the star. So here's the VGA cable and a small uh, connector here is the power supply, 12 volt. So the whole computer run on 12 volt. It's uh, when there will be no uh, ID hard drive in there but the flash drive. Uh, it will run uh, without parts moving. So uh, it's pretty good for um, a repeater site. So let's move to the radio. Okay, here's here's all the radios. At the bottom there, I have a, a small uh, Kenwood TK860HG or GH. I never remember which letters come first. Uh, it's programmed in 2DM band. Uh, don't worry about the letters there. The I was playing with the uh, display and uh, to change stuff and. Uh, I just wrote that to to make a point. That's another repair I'm taking care of. So, uh, for just to to verify what I could what I could write there. And then, okay, at the bottom radio will be the transmitter. Uh, the top radio, I didn't change the writing in top, but it's into the amp band too. It's a UHF TK840, and uh, it's a uh, program into the amp amp band quite easily. Uh, I'm not talking about the black, the blue box on top yet. Uh, on both radio, I installed the key CT, uh, a key CT 19 cable, which gave me access to uh, discriminator director uh, audio and uh, a direct uh, transmitter sh the audio to the um, to the uh, modulator. So, um, so I don't have to modify 
the radio at all. I'll show you the connector. So here's the connector for a transmitter. Uh, only have the yellow wire for speedity and the, the little uh, and I have uh, a shielded wire for ground and the audio for a transmitter. And on the other side, same thing, a little cable for a receiver. And as you can see, only a shielded cable. Uh, one pin for the audio, one pin for the ground, and that's it. So that's all the connection I needed to connect my radio to the TV RPTR board. It's a Dutch, uh, it's German uh, built. Uh, I'm trying to have a focus there. So it's built by German people at dvrptr.de. Pretty good little device, simple, uh, powered by USB. Uh, I did a little modification at the bottom to make it work on uh, USB only. Or you could run with a 12 volt here. A 12 volt connector, small round pin, standard stuff. So that's a MIDI-DIN 6 pin. I didn't have the MIDI-DIN 6 pin um, connector yet. So uh, I have hack into an old. Uh, 6 pin to 6 pin cable, made some connection inside, don't look at them, temporary stuff uh, it was to make a proof of concept and I put a little box in there so I can move this thing around uh, without breaking anything so uh, then after that of course 12 volt 12 volt cable going to the uh, boat radios and going to my uh, little power supply uh, and then from there I'm uh, powering to uh, what another cable uh, a 9800H so uh, 9800H D star radio so uh, that's it for the radios forgot to tell you the transmitter the receiver is not plugged to anything yet and the transmitter is plugged to a demo load so, so to make some tests Here's the uh, duplexer I'll be using when the whole system will be finished. It's not tuned yet. Don't know the frequency I'll be using, so I have to coordinate that. And uh, that's about it about the radios. Okay, so uh, we're back. We're back. So let's make some tests, making sure that this whole system works. So while I'm there, pressing PTT, saying Vitor, Echo to Papa Fox, making some tests. So I'm transmitting that. While that, let's go check with the uh, RCDDB live. Uh, look like V2PF is still transmitting all the time. CQ, CQ, CQ. V2PUKB, V2PUKG. I'm still transmitting. Take some. Let's remove the transmitter. Okay, so. Uh, I was transmitting for 28.7 second signal 0% but 0.0% of error so it looked like everything was fine. Let's see what's happening on the screen there. Okay, so it's gone. Let's press V2PF there making some tests. Okay, V2PF 73. Here is V2PUK B RPTR. Okay, 2012 0105 at 2353. So looks like uh, this thing is working. Let's uh, show you what's happening when I'm transmitting. So I'll press the PTT, V2PF making some tests. As you can see, a green light came in, so it's uh, when it started to receive my, my uh, signal. And uh, relieving uh, the uh, PTT. Okay, okay, the red light is still there, so showing that it's transmitting, and uh, that's it there, We're going back on receiving. So you saw the bottom radio there, I'm pressing PTT again, V2PF, so you see, uh, here, that's it. So when I transmit full duplex radio, full, uh, full duplex from DVR-PTR a little board. So homebrew repeater with what people could call uh, maybe junk so uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool uh,
Now, some little explanation about the the, um, the software that I use. Okay, I have used the uh, distribution made by V3 UV Remesh. I have used the Freestar uh, distribution. That's Linux based. It's a pretty uh, good system, very stable for now. I'll make it uh, make it uh, pass a few more tests, of course. Of course, we can link to you about uh, any uh, X reflector or reflector. Uh, not on G, uh, not on the US trust though. It's not registered to the GS, uh, the US trust. You need to have a repeater call sign. I registered my whole the V2 PUK uh, uh, call sign that I don't use anymore since I use V2 PF now, but I still own it. Um, I've, I'll be uh, ordering a new set of repeat, uh, reader call sign to do uh, the wall insulation when I'll receive the frequency uh, uh, coordination and everything. So um, so that was about it. So I uh, just want to thank uh, Remesh that uh, helped me a lot to uh, install the system on the Linux side. I'm not a Linux guru. Far from that. I can play with that, but I'm not a guru. So uh, that's about it. So this is uh, Victor Eco2 Pepper Fox uh, Pierre from uh, Montreal, uh, Quebec, Canada. Hoping that you had uh, some fun watching this video.